Wait, wait, wait. Don't buy that product. Don't buy it. I'm telling you, the probable reason why you're buying that product is for the wrong reasons. And I want to tell you exactly why. Now, on your journey through whatever you're doing, you probably come to a part where it's not turned out the way you want it to turn out. It's like, I've tried all the methods and it's not working. Have you, in, the one thing you've got to ask yourself is, have you read everything, got it clear in your mind, and have you implemented it properly? Because nowadays, everybody's looking for the quick fix. We're not willing to work for where to where we want to get to. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take something and we think, click of the finger, it's our magic potion. It's going to get us to where we want to be. But that's just not how it works nowadays. You know, it's, uh, you might get, you might take a course and you'll be able to implement it clearly and boom, you've got the results that you want. But 90% of the time it's going to take work. So before you go and purchase anything, I want you to think, what are you really struggling on? Where do you want to get to? Because what happens is we're bombarded with all these Facebook ads, these YouTube videos, and we're thinking, okay, this is the solution to our problem. But I want you to think about this. Think about this. Have a look. Google, Google the answer, YouTube the answer, and I'm sure you will find it. Like one of the most recent things that I was struggling was niche research. And I was like, I've taken all, all of these other courses, and because I wanted to create like Amazon sites and all these ones, it explains it, but it doesn't explain it well enough for me. I've watched these videos several times, it doesn't explain it well enough. So what I've done is I've gone on, I've, I've, I got caught up in this, this one guy, uh, he's called the Deadbeat Super Affiliate. And I got caught up in all this stuff. And I was, I, I watched all the videos, I was like, I'm gonna buy it. And then I stopped myself, I like, okay, okay, was like, why do I really wanna buy it? So then what I did is I looked at his reviews and okay, his stuff's relevant to 2015, some of his messages don't work. And I thought to myself, I was like, I need to actually YouTube and Google this stuff to find it. So that's what I did today. I looked on YouTube and I got myself an, a piece of paper. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get my paper out. Give me a sec. You're gonna like this. All right, so I, I say grab paper, grab, grab some paper as well because when you grab your paper, no, <laughs> I've lost it. Where did I put my paper? No. Um, the reason why I say write stuff down on paper, no, I've, I've lost the paper. Where is it? In there? there we go, there it is, here we go. All right, so. <sighs> what I did, what I did is I used several YouTube videos as reference because the thing is when you're learning things online and somebody's teaching you something like me, you're best off watching my video and then if you're doing it everything that you think you need, watch another video, you know, if it's a tutorial video. It's the best way you can do it. And what I did was I wrote down loads of stuff so you can see this is one side, this is another side. I filled the paper. This is another one. Okay, I filled up the paper, why? Because I was writing down as much information and I was like, I was trying to get the points that matter to me. Because if you've got a brain that thinks like mine and you do, a lot of stuff doesn't go in simply. You need different variables of opinion and you need to write the stuff down because if you're writing, if you're writing it down, you will understand it more. If you write it down on a computer, you won't. So just get it out of pen and paper and write it down. Then read through it and then, okay, input it into like Evernote or wherever. But going back to, like I was saying about the shiny object syndrome, the reason why you're doing this is because you don't fully understand. You know, before you go forward and purchase that product, 
have a think, step back for the moment, because what you've done is you, you're making a imp, more than likely an impulse decision, and you don't want to do that. You really don't want to do that. You want to go back through the course you've already taken, or the information on YouTube videos, get a proper understanding of everything. And once you do, you'll be better off, because you're, you'll be able to move forward with whatever course you are taking or information you're taking. Don't just jump and buy that product, you know, do a little bit of research into the product, make sure it's right for you. Because what we a lot of us do, we don't get to the position that we want to get into and we we just buy stuff. And a lot of the stuff that we buy we don't even do it. So when you're learning something, take action at the same time. So you learn something Take action. You learn something, take action. So, yeah. Just make a clear decision. Don't just jump in. You know, make, Don't make it an impulse buy because you'll just be wasting your time and money. Alright, I hope this helped.